Today we're going to check out how to make this popular kinetic text blend here in After Effects. Let's go to new comp. I'm going to go with 4K, rename it as text. 29.95 frame per second. 6 seconds, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. Press the letter S to scale it up. Let's go to the align, align it horizontally and vertically. By the way, I went with the mango grotesque bold. And if you zoom in, you can see this anchor point is at the bottom. So we're going to need to position this perfectly into the center. Press and hold control and let's go and double click here at the pen behind. So the anchor point is going to jump into the center. Now you're also going to need to make sure to activate the stroke. So here we got the stroke activate. Now we got stroke and fill. You can click on the color of the stroke and change it however you like. So if I go to transparency mode, you can see the stroke and the fill. From here, we're going to need to activate the 3D. So I'm going to go here where the little cube is and check it. If you don't have these settings, you can go to toggle switch and it's going to switch it and the option is going to show up. Now we're going to change the camera view. Let's go to active camera, custom view one. Let's duplicate the layer, press Ctrl D, press the letter P for position. And you can see these values are at zero and I'm going to push it out with 30. So it's going to create this blend effect. I'm going to go with 30 for 4K artboard size. Now I'm going to duplicate this a lot, press Ctrl D a lot of times. And I'm going to select all of this, press the letter P for position. And now we're going to duplicate it. So here you can see the bottom one is 30. So this one is going to be 60 and the next one is going to be 90, 120, 150, 180 and so on and so forth. And it looks something like this. Now we can change the camera view to default again. Now let's select all the layers, press and hold shift, select all of it, press the letter R for rotate. Let's go to the bottom layer here and select the Z rotation. So make sure to bring this at the beginning, activate the stopwatch, and I'm gonna push this to 20 degree angles, and I gotta go to the first, second, and 15 frames, somewhere here, and I gotta go minus 20. Now select both keyframes, press Control C, let's go to the third seconds, press Control V to duplicate, select all keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select Easy Ease. Now make sure that you bring this at the beginning and select the Z rotation, press Ctrl C and select the second layer, go all the way up, press and hold shift. This way you can select all of them, press Ctrl V and now it copied all the keyframes to every each layer. Now let's select all the layers, collapse them, press the letter U so it's going to highlight the keyframes and I got to go all the way down to the first layer. I'm going to click on the second layer and bring it out by two frames. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, two more frames and with the rest as well. Now let's select all the layers and I'm going to bring this first layer at the very beginning at the composition. I got to go to the third second and bring the work area at the third second. Great. Now let's see what we got. Click on play. And this is it. If you want to change up the colors, you can select one of the layers, for example, and you can go to fill and just switch up the colors. And that way it's going to update the text. And this was it. Thanks for watching.